Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thanks so much for supporting the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and get you a general message and see what the energy is like. Now, this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thank you to those who donate to the channel. It's very much appreciated. So let's jump into this with Virgo. What do we have? Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? The sign of Virgo. I do hope that everybody is well, Virgos. All right. So what is the energy here today? Show me. Virgo. Thank you. So, oh, this came out. This came out yesterday. Improving health. And we have recovery at the bottom of the deck. So show me more. And we have one that fell on the floor. And it is aunts. It says aunts for help from others. So I don't know if someone needs your help here, Virgos. Um, wow, okay, we have forgiveness. Now, I was getting a really weird message um, before I press play. You know, I was having this song that was coming to me. Uh, for some of you, this for some of you, there's someone out here that's really missing you here. Now, I don't know if this person is sick with this improving health, right? And it was actually the song, if I can get my paper. Ooh. It was actually the song by, is her name Olita Adams? Um, you know you know the song, um, I don't care how you get there, get here if you can, it's that song. And I was kind of hearing that. And it's almost like, you know, in the song it kind of says, you can reach me by railway, you can reach me by trailway on an aeroplane. You know, she says things like, um, you can reach me with your mind. So I don't know if some of you have some kind of telepathic connection with someone. I don't know if someone's been trying to connect to you via your dreams or um, something like that. So especially if someone's just kind of been randomly popping up in your head, right? This could be the person here. Um, she also says you can reach it by a caravan. It's, you know, she says cross the desert like an Arab man. So some of you could be Muslim or um, maybe some of you just live somewhere really hot. Or this is someone where there's a lot of distance between you guys. Um, she also says... There are hills and mountains between us. And then she says, always something to get over. So I feel like this is like two people that, are, I don't know if you guys have been trying to come together, but there's just been obstacles. You know, those obstacles could be people, places or things that are in the way here. But there's definitely was something stopping this connection. Now, this doesn't have to be a romantic connection for some of you, okay? It could be. Um, but the other energy I was getting is, I don't know if someone here, like I was saying, is is sick. Uh, and they're kind of um, almost feels like yearning for you. Now, for some of you, if this is like a family member who is ill or something like that, and they're kind of, you know, wanting you to come and see them, you know, try and get to them here. Um, I almost want to say before it's too late, but that's definitely not going to be for everyone. OK, because at the end, it says, if I had a way, surely you would be closer. And then at the end, you know, it says, I need you closer. So. Forgiveness. So let's see what this is for the sign of Virgo. Uh, as a part of the deck, we have a King of Wands and a Seven of Cups. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Um, let's see. Ace of Swords. I don't know. I heard something about alcohol poisoning or something like that. Or maybe somebody here is indulging something too much with that Seven of Cups here. But the Ace of Swords and the Lovers, so someone, it feels like someone here is clear or they've got some kind of clarity about how they feel about you here, Virgos. Yeah, look at that, the Four of Swords. But this is someone who may be heartbroken, but they ain't saying anything, right? Again, the Four of Swords can also talk about laying something to rest or someone to rest. And it also can talk about illness here, right? Needing to heal from something. So maybe somebody's just heartbroken. The Hanged Man, yeah, someone here is stuck, right? They're in this energy of nostalgia. 
here. But at the same time of being in the energy of nostalgia, they're, they're kind of in this energy of procrastination as well. So, um, hangs man, seeing something from a different perspective, but stuck all the same. Yeah, look at that. Stuck of how to come forward with the chariot. Stuck on how to move things forward. So what is this improving health? Now, Virgos, this could be your energy, right? Maybe somebody has seen that you have improved your health somehow because, you know, there's only one cup in this card, which would make me think of the Ace of Cups. So this definitely could be an energy of self-love. What is the improving health energy for Virgos? Thank you, Show Me Spirit. The Ten of Coins. Almost wanted to come out sideways here. Okay, show me more. The Six of Cups. So for some of you, this may be family, right? With the Ten of Coins or this. Show me more about this Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins can talk about a large amount of money. It can talk about um, generational wealth here with the Ten of Coins. So maybe you guys are improving your finances or your finances are going to be improving here. Oh, look at that. The King of Cups. So someone may see um, long term with you, right? They may see that they could build some kind of um, legacy with you here. King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Uh, this is someone who, like I said, they may not have expressed how they feel to you, but they may have recognized to themselves what you mean to them, Virgos. What is the Six of Cups? Definitely for some of you, someone from your past, or this is going to be soulmate energy. What is the Six of Cups? I'm hearing, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. So it's either this is someone who maybe wanted to be around you um, around Christmas time, or maybe uh, this is someone who's been thinking about you since Christmas. Maybe someone's birthday is around Christmas. But for some reason, Christmas is relevant here. You have the four of coins. Yeah, this is someone who is holding back. But this is also someone who wants to hold on to this situation for dear life here. It could also be for some of you, you may be in the Ten of Pentacles energy and this person is only in the four. Bottom of the deck, I'm seeing the Nine of Cups with the King of um, Pentacles and the Page of Wands and the Full card. Now, you don't have to be dealing with another um, Earth sign, right? Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn here. This could be just someone who kind of wants to come in and be someone stable here. Somebody um, grounded, somebody that you can depend on here with the King of Pentacles here, right? This is someone who wants to send you some kind of message. But they also see you as good news here, Virgo, which is why we have that Fool. So someone who's wanting to take a leap of faith. So that is also Aries and Aquarius energy. And then right behind it, we have the lovers and the nine of wands. This is someone who doesn't want to give up on this situation. They want to fight for this here. The three of wands, someone who's seeing the bigger picture. And there's that four of swords. Show me this ten of coins and the king of cups. Thank you. The seven of swords, though. Why the seven of swords? Empress and the strength. Why is the seven of swords here? Six of swords I'm seeing. Oh, the three of swords. Okay, and the six of swords. So that seven of swords could be representing maybe something they did in the past. Now that seven of swords is sitting on that ten of pentacles. So again, I don't know if this is someone who made some bad choices in the past here. I don't know if someone who's... It, you know, it's someone that stole something from you, lied to you about something, tried to hide something here. But look at that. That seven of swords with the three of swords makes the ten of swords. The worst is behind you, Virgo. So whatever this person did, and maybe because they know that something has come to an end, why this kind of regret is now setting in, right? Um, give me one on the seven of swords and the three of swords. They may be heartbroken about something that they did. Seven of swords and three of swords. Why is it here? The Magician and the King of Swords. Now, the Magician talks about manipulation. It also talks about manifestation, right? Now, with it, with that Seven of Swords, it's going to tell me that, hey, this person did something underhanded here. How deep that goes, 
I don't know. But that King of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini energy. So again, I don't know, you could be dealing with either sign, right? Could be an air sign hiding under the King of Cups, right? In their emotions. Could be just, you could be dealing with a water sign or an air sign. Just take it out, it resonates. You could be dealing with a water sign who now is kind of sitting in their truth, right? Being honest with themselves. But the fact is that someone here sees that you are moving to calmer waters. This person is spying on you. Maybe on some sort of platform. Platform or something that you do for work here. Maybe this is someone you work with. But the Eight of Pentacles is my master card. Something that someone is skilled at. The Five of Coins and the Four of Wands. This person, this is someone who's feeling left out in the cold here. And I'm, not, I'm going to be honest, it feels like this is someone who's having some kind of a pity party. Why did I make those choices? Why didn't I invest in the Virgo? For some of you with the Seven of Cups here and the Eight of um, Swords, for some of you this is someone who was married and they never told you. Or they had some kind of um, commitment somewhere else, Four of Wands, Seven of Cups. This is maybe someone who was torn between two situations here. At a crossroads. But the moon card tells me about secrets. For some of you. <laughs> with the queen of pentacles. <laughs> For some of you. They wasn't hiding not a thing from you. With this high priestess energy. Mm, okay. What is the Six of Cups and the... What is that? What is the Six of Cups and the Four of Pentacles? Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. That Wheel of Fortune wanted to come sideways. I don't know if for some of you this person just wanted to stop time because they didn't want you to move on. I don't know if this is somebody who was trying to change your destiny or trying to change fate. Uh, good luck with that. Um, but what is the Six of Cups and the Four of Coins? For my Virgos, what is this improving health? Oh, we have the Knight of Cups turning over. And the Ten of Swords. So for some of my Virgos, you know, it, this situation may be over here. Maybe you have moved on. Ten of Swords. The ultimate betrayal. This is someone who betrayed you for some of you over and over and over again here. Well, this is how they're feeling. What is that Ten of Swords? The three of coins i feel like for some of you this is someone who wants to build with you they want to invest in this situation now again it doesn't have to be romantic but we do have the king of cups out here with that knight of cups now we have the seven of coins it's almost like this person missed an opportunity to grow something with you Give me one on this three of coins. Give me one on three of coins. Thank you, Spirit. The justice. Ooh. Justice and judgment. Aye, aye, aye. I mean, it could just be saying to me, you know, this person may want reconciliation, right? They want a chance to do things the right way here. But this is also double karma. Are the justice and the judgment with the three of coins? Now, if this person was working in cahoots with other people here with that um three of coins, um, all right, what is it? What is the? Oh, not too much, spirit. Not too much. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have. It was in the reverse, the Four of Swords and the Page of Coins. 
Now, the Four of Swords, to me, tells me that, um, I don't know, maybe someone should have laid something to rest that they didn't here. You know, it also could give me the energy here of somebody not healed from some kind of decision that they made. Kind of feels like someone should have laid something to rest. Three of coins and the justice and the judgment. What is the three of coins? The two of cups. The two of cups can be seen as a partnership. Or again, and maybe for some of you, this person just has love for you, right? Three of coins. The ten of cups, the hierophant. But what's behind that? There's that seven of coins that I just said. The ace of wands and the devil. I don't know, for some of you, this person may be obsessed here with you about having this kind of family dynamic or situation here. Uh, for some of you, it gives me the energy that you emotionally fulfill this person somehow, some way. So what is the forgiveness? Because we do have forgiveness here, right? So again... What is the forgiveness card? The Ten of Wands. For some of you, this person may be carrying some kind of a burden. And they want your forgiveness here. But it looks like for some of you, you're very defensive here, Virgos. But the Seven of Wands also talks about protection from your ancestors and your angels. Yeah, look at that, the Tower. So this person is going through a difficult time, whoever they are. We have Aries and Scorpio energy out here now. We also have Libra. We have um, Sagittarius. Told you Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is this? The star card. I don't know if this person feels like you can heal them or, you know, the star card just talks about wanting to heal these situation. Show me more. What is the seven of wands? If... What's going on? Maybe this person's having some kind of tantrums or something like that, or mood swings, because these cards are going a little bit crazy. I was going to say cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but I don't know. We have a Queen of Cups here that fell on the floor here. Um, so I don't know if there's a Queen of Cups that is mad here, right? Water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Heavy Scorpio with the Tower. Seven of Wands, thank you, Spirit. Lots of cards. The Two of Wands, Six of Wands, and the Devil. See, it's almost like somebody thought something was going to be victorious here. But with the Tower and the Devil and the Ten of Wands, I don't know. It could just be someone's having a tower moment because you're having some kind of victory with the Six of Wands. Maybe you're getting some kind of public recognition for something. But somebody's having an, a, an epiphany here. What is the tower and the devil? What is the tower and the devil? Four of Cups, somebody feeling like they missed an opportunity. They're wanting to apologize again with that Ten of Cups and this Hierophant. So for some of you, this could even be a family member. What is the Devil and the Tower? Way too many cards. King of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Again, you know, heavy fire energy here. We have Capricorn out here now. But the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Two of Pentacles. Someone here juggled this situation, or they juggled you here, Virgos, and now they're having anxiety, stress, and worry. Someone could have been toxic here or had some kind of toxic ways or it's almost like with that devil energy. It's almost like someone would have did anything to have some kind of success here. What I actually wanted to see come out here was the six of pentacles. The devil in the tower. Clarify for me one more time. Thank you, spirit. What is that? The magician. Yeah, there's some kind of dark magic or something somebody was trying to control something or somebody was trying to get something the wrong way or they were trying to stop you from having success something was too difficult seven of wands you're protected seven eight nine of wands you're too strong 
a lot of you are in this energy of very much resilience, right? There isn't much that can stop you. Even if something slows you down, it's like you don't give up. You come back again. What is the um, seven of wands and the two of wands? Somebody could try to control or manipulate something here. But with darkness, it's almost like that energy of, um, whew, it's almost like that energy of selling your soul for some kind of victory. But it's that energy of, you know, in the other deck where it says a tempting offer has a high price. What is the seven of wands and the two of wands? Which makes the nine of wands? The moon. Show me more. Cancer and Pisces energy. There's that six of coins. And there's the queen of swords. Okay, so for some of my Virgos here, it gives me the energy here that I don't know if you are someone who um, can very much see straight through people here. Um, the moon card and this queen of swords is giving me an energy of, with the moon card? Hmm. That six of pentacles, when I was picking it up earlier, it was giving me a vibes of somebody paying somebody for something. So I don't know if somebody tried to pay a queen of swords for something here. Maybe behind the scenes. Or you can just see through what is hidden. But what is the six of coins? Because the six of coins talks about giving and receiving here. It kind of makes me feel like somebody made, yeah, with the eight of coins, it kind of makes me feel like someone may have paid somebody for something, but I don't know if they got refused. Show me more about this queen of swords and the moon and the six of coins. The high priestess. Hmm. Show me more. Three of Wands. This is about somebody seeing the bigger picture of a situation. The Three of Cups. The Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like some kind of communication was challenging here or something here is angry about, someone's angry about some kind of communication. It feels like someone refused someone for something. So I'm not quite sure where the forgiveness comes in here. Emperor energy with the Nine of Swords, Aries and Taurus energy and the Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords, the Hanged Man, Four of Swords. I don't know if someone's going to jail. Virgos. Let's get some more information. Show me what this is. Thank you, Spirit. A sign of Virgo. cards first card is the number 10 which is the journey so there's definitely something here that is coming to an end like i said with the um seven of swords and the three of swords uh, we have the ten of swords out here anyway so we have it out here twice so definitely the worst is behind someone here. You know, family room is empty. Again, this could have been family members for some of you or someone you had a family with. But that family room is empty, right? So again, that energy of somebody feeling excluded or somebody missing you here. Someone could be feeling a bit lonely. Give me two for over here. Thank you. We have a main male. And we have a mature woman. At the bottom of deck, we have high honor and toil and labor. But I'm telling you, someone here may be in trouble with the law. It could even be a couple here with the marriage card. But you have thief, community, and courthouse.
to spirit why do virgos need to know this why does my virgos need to know this five of wands and the four of cups yeah there's conflict somebody's definitely going through some kind of conflict there's arguments here there's pe too many people involved in a situation the four of cups the knight of wands and the knight of cups and the five of pentacles somebody wants to come out of the cold here but like I said, it all depends on what it is that this person did in the past, right? There's a lot of betrayal over here. And with that Ten of Pentacles, like I said, it could have been over some kind of money or property. This could have been people working together here. It just feels like there's something going very wrong for someone. So why do my Virgos need to know this? Show me. Thank you, Spirit. What's this got to do with Virgos? The Two of Swords. Some are being at a crossroads. Again, this may be someone you have blocked, right, Virgos? And then maybe this is a situation that you need to avoid and not get involved with here. Two of Swords. Show me more. Why is the Two of Swords here? Why does my Virgos need to know this? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. The Ten of Swords again. This almost makes me feel like, you know, Virgo, you need to be in the energy of I know nothing. I saw nothing. I heard nothing. That, huh? It's that kind of energy. Do you know what I mean? Like hear no evil, see no evil. Ten of Swords. Ultimate betrayal. Now, I don't know if, why my Virgos need to know this. Show me. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Swords, Ten of Swords. Look at that. The Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. For some of you, you need to know this because this is someone who's going to try and come back towards you. But you see, what you don't know here, right, is that um, this person is going through some things. This is not your burden to take on almost. Now, hold on a second, right? I'm not saying you can't help people. It all depends on the situation. But if this is someone who's going through some trial and tribulations and they're being served karma for something here, right? Seven of Swords energy, um, Ten of Swords energy. Spirit saying, you know what, Virgos? It, like I said, it has nothing to do with you. This person is carrying some kind of burdens. They're going through some kind of tower moment. But what is the devil and the magician? Why? Now, this moon card could also be saying to me that maybe you're being very secretive here, right? Maybe you just have your head down and working, Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Maybe with the Two of Wands, you're making good decisions about going forward. Look at that. This mature woman has a six on her, Six of Wands. This main male has a number one. He's looking for a new beginning. Ten of Swords. Look at that, the Knight of Swords wanting to rush in here. What is this Knight of Cups? Ten of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is someone who wants to drop some kind of burdens here. And they feel like they can release their burdens by coming towards you and making you an offer. Spirit, what is your advice? Because, I, I, I you know... Let the cards talk. What is your advice? Give me three cards. The Knight of Wands to run. <laughs> Knight of Wands, that's fast movement, fast action. Could be dealing with a fire sign here. I said that already. We also have the Knight of Swords, so strong fire, strong air. But we also have water out here. So you could be dealing with anybody, guys. Queen of Pentacles wanting to rush in towards you after some kind of betrayal, after they stabbed you in the back, after they left you for dead here, after you kind of got over this Ten of Swords and moved on, right? Found your inner strength. And now you kind of, something is happening for you here. This person sees that you're still stable, you're still grounded, and they're kind of wondering, hey, you know, the Virgo was good to me before. I wonder if they're going to be good to me again. It's that energy of, you know what, don't take my kindness for weakness. Knight of Cups, what is this? The Hermit. And I'm glad it came out, you know, Virgos, because I feel like for some of you, your intuition is already telling you this. You're already very clued up. You're already very connected here. 
Now, it could be telling me that somebody here maybe has um, done some introspection here, right? Um, what is this hermit? You could be dealing with another Virgo. It doesn't have to be. Show me about this hermit energy. We have ooh, the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. So for some of you, there is someone here. Um, you know, this could be your energy, Virgos, but there is someone here that kind of wants... It looks like emotional fulfillment here with you. They want to move to calmer waters. So this is where it gets a little bit confusing because you have to know your own story. But there is um, energy here about solving a situation. Forgiveness. Maybe someone here had to have a tower moment. Why, why does this energy? Yeah, look at that. The Ace of Wands, the Strength card, and Three of Pentacles. So there's someone who's definitely thinking about healing a situation with you, but they have to find the inner strength. Or maybe they're intimidated by your strength here. Or they want to work together. They want to collab. But there's that Ace of Swords after the Tower and the Five of Wands. Somebody has to come and tell you some kind of truth here. They have to bring some kind of clarity to a situation. Okay. Thank you. Oh, God. Part of the deck on the Seven of Swords, or the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. So, what do we want to end this with? I want to end it with love and light. So, for my Virgos, thank you, Spirit. How do you want to end this reading? Virgo so we have focus on your blessings I think this came out the other day it says yes you will be enriched in every way so that you can always be generous one more thank you and then you have let love let love light the way it says do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord will personally go ahead of you he will be with you. He will neither fail nor abandon you. Yes, and it looks like he didn't here for someone. It looks like your ancestors and your angels came through for someone here. It looks like a lot of you are on the right path here. And it looks like someone has to kind of watch you be on that path here, Virgos. And now they want your forgiveness because they are feeling burdensome. And you're having some kind of victory. Or at least things are balancing out for some of you with that six of pentacles. Okay, so that is what I have for you. Um, if anything in the reading did resonate with you, do hit that thumbs up for me or subscribe to the channel. But Virgos, if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.